All right, hello Aquarius. Let's go into your Astro Flower reading. There seems to be upside down cards coming out a lot. I, I put them all back into correct position as it were and they just keep coming out. So the upside down thing, uh, I don't really read, but it has been prominent over the fire signs and over the earth signs, I've got to be said. Uh, you know, and it seems to be coming out again in the air signs. So something, there's a bit of a reversal going on. Um, you know, Ten of Pentacles is normally to, to, to do with, um, uh, you know, abundance and uh, everything you need and stuff like that. So upside down, you may feel that things are a little bit tight for you. Let's get let's get the overall message, really. This is the overall energy going through. Welcome to the Astro Flower, by the way. If you're part of the Astro Flower family, uh, thank you very much for your support that you give this channel. Uh, if you want to support this channel, it's very simple to do. Just need to subscribe and click that bell. Let's go straight into what's going on there. It's a bit like, okay, so in, in simple terms, it's a bit like uh, you start a new job and you work for the month and then you get paid at the end of the month. So you're doing that work and you're not actually seeing the financial results as yet. And that's what it sort of means. It's it's almost like a delay, I think, on certain things. Not necessarily a closure or, you know, losing your money or losing your abundance and stuff like that. I don't think it's that. I really do think it's more of a case of, um, uh, yeah, of just a sort of delay as you've invested in things and you move things through. And this could be on your relationship side, which is this side, or on your money side. Uh, and it's just waiting for those things to fall into place. Okay, let's go straight on to the karmic message for you on regards to your emotions, your relationship, and that sort of thing. I think it's you've got to celebrate life here. It's it, the word that's coming through is applaud. Um, and I was asking whether it was applause or applaud. Um, and it seems like applaud seems to be coming out. So I think in a way, I would give thanks and praises, uh, maybe within your relationships that are around you, that's family, friends, community, anything of that sort of thing. Um, but that sort of seems like the karmic message. It is a real change. It is a real uh, death and rebirth. So it's it's a new way of being. And it seems like you're applauding not only the people around you, but life itself. And you're kind of going, I love being with these people. I love interacting with these people. I love talking to them. I may not agree with them all the time, but I love speaking with them. I love being around these family or these friends or these community or with your partner uh so aquarius yeah getting starting a whole new journey a whole new episode with people around you let's see how the universe is guiding this karmic message i think it is to do with life and i think it's applauding life and how amazing it can be you know, if you're having a difficult time in life at the moment, that, that the Ten of Pentacles would be understandable. And uh, maybe it's a case of, you know, it's like when you lose your keys. If you, if you lose your keys, sometimes stop looking for them and you'll find them. Not all the time. But it, it's, you know, if you're not having a good time, that's possibly a good way out for you. Okay? So for the universe here, it's, yeah, it's... Uh, yeah, it's 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 passion. It's 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 pure pleasure and pure love and pure <laughs> community. Look at that, the three of cups. That's what it's all about: celebration, community, that sort of thing. It's about life. It is about community and uh, stuff like that. Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles on the Queen of Pentacles. Just sort of saying, uh, fair exchange. There you go. That could well be it. Um, but yeah, getting into your community, getting into life. Really nice reading, actually, for you, Aquarius. Let's see how the guides are trying to influence you. Or influence your karmic message. Mm. 
they're almost taking a checklist of kind of going, what we don't want to do that we've already done. So coincidences around you are going to start bringing into new uh, ways of being as regards to relationships. Uh, and this could be family, friends, just new way of doing things. You know, if you hated like barbecues with your family and stuff like that, uh, it, you might turn out around now and kind of actually have two or three experiences and you kind of think, actually, it was brilliant, really enjoyed it. You know, that sort of change in environment. <laughs> Hierophant, uh, understanding through religious practices, uh, also sort of marriage. Uh, you know, this the Hierophant is, each step is a lesson for that Hierophant and the lesson is helping him in a direction where he gets to his dreams and his ultimate goals of living. And that's why he's so happy because he doesn't actually have to go up those steps anymore. He can just let that love or that light just shine down those steps towards him through his understanding of how he should be. And it is a case of marrying both sides. And when I, I went into this, into the August readings as well, majorly, uh, which you'll find at the end of this video, linked at the end of this reading, and it is marrying the, 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 the relationship and spiritual side of life and the, the money and the financial side of life. Let's see what's going on here. This is really hot to trot. So, um, very passionate. Let yourself go. Let yourself go. It's okay. And this is sometimes can be quite difficult for you Aquarians, is to look a bit of an idiot. Uh, you know, to be looking a bit of an idiot. Someone that kind of goes, kind of gets things obviously wrong on purpose. You know, and uh, or just doesn't understand and recognizing kind of going, I don't understand what you people are talking about. You know that sort of thing, and almost taking making fun of yourself. But it's very childlike and loving and and happy vibration. It seems, yeah, playing smart. This is one way of disarming people is through comedy, is through fun and through laughter, and there's no better way of disarming any conflicts or any sort of. Uh, you know, sort of weird situations Why by um, making fun of yourself or fun of the situation uh, and stuff like that. So that is a way of playing smart in a way. Um, and I wouldn't be tactical about it at all. I'd just be very uh, free and flow, you know, free flowing sort of comedy, you know, relaxed about it all and be quite happy and to take the mickey out of yourself, you know. I think that's quite a good thing. And within your relationships, it's gonna it's gonna build into a new situation where, uh, yeah, you're gonna find a much deeper meaning to the relationship. And I think that's gonna come from the universe. I think that's gonna come from the things that are around you. And th when I say things, that can be physical things, but that could also be people, uh, situations, uh, and being engaged with everything in life and praising and applauding life. I think it's going to be a really good thing for you. Okay, let's just see what's going on on your karmic message for your financial sort of side of life. Yeah, this is the waiting. Patience is a virtue. Um, when you invest in something, you've got to leave a bit of time in order for that investment to show returns. Hmm. So patience, that celebration is coming through, that success is coming through. And it may not be coming from exactly where you initially thought it. So let's just say like you invested in oranges uh, to make orange juice and all everybody else invested, they invested in orange juice as well, which brought down the price of orange juice. But the thing is, because there was loads of oranges, there was no actual oranges to eat. And all of a sudden the prices of oranges went up to sell. And all of a sudden, you can sell those oranges. You thought you were going to sell them as juice, but you're going to sell them as oranges for people to eat. And it's going to, you're going to make a lot more money out of selling that, if you know what I mean. It's sort of like, it's, it's like you're doing a lot, of, you've done a lot of work, and all of a sudden, it seems like this way here is to celebrate your wins through other means by the, by the looks of things. Let's just see what's going on, on uh, how the universe is trying to influence that karmic message. Uh, 
like the soya plant is not the most beautiful plant in the world else we'd all be growing them in the garden but it could be a valuable crop and the universe is sort of saying there is beauty or there is success or there is advantage or there is opportunity in things that most people would turn their nose up at. Yeah. So Ace of Swords, uh, clear thinking, seeing that those opportunities. And this, I think this is where the universe can help you. It can help you see things or opportunities in life that no one else is seeing. And it's gonna make you, you know, it's good. It, it, I think there's gonna be like a, a dawning moment, an understanding where you're gonna kind of go, that's what I should be doing because that's where I'm gonna make it. Let's just say how the um, guides are trying to influence that karmic path, that karmic message. So it's like, your heart's desires, uh, what is your heart's desires? It seems like this is what your guides are sort of saying to you. What do you want to do with all of this? That's what they're sort of saying here. Uh, so they want to know what to do. They need to have direction from you. Ace, uh, Page of Pentacles. Okay, so it's a youthful, um, youthful energy, but it understands that longer process of planting seeds, waiting for the crop to grow and getting those, those seeds back. Uh, in, in more quantity than you planted, you know, a bit like sort of wheat and what have you. Um, and your guides are sort of saying, you know, which one of these seeds do you want to plant? What do you want to follow here? They're waiting on your command, basically. Let's see what's going on on the, um, on the conversation that is within you in regards to money and your job and your finances and stuff like that. It's like you were cut above the rest. You, ha I think with this vision and the idea of marrying both sides of yourself, you know, uh, of your happiness and stuff like that, it's, um, it's gonna put you in a cut above the rest. You know, uh, yeah, it's gonna make you stand out a bit which can be a good thing and a bad thing. If you don't want to be stood out, you know, if you don't want to be exposed, if you're happy in your job and you just want to keep your head down, I mean, it's going to be pretty difficult, you know. But marrying yourself to your way of life is a really good thing. Let's just see what's going on there. Ten of Swords. Hmm. I think, yeah, I think this, uh, okay, so a cut above the else people, other people. It's gonna, it's gonna push you um, um, forward and uh, uh, where the difficulties that you've had in the past of trying to do a business or, or follow a career path have been difficult. And it seems like you've done your time, you've passed your test, things are moving on in your relationship side uh, and on your emotional sort of side. And here it's, it's walking away. I think your guides here are passionately trying to uh, encourage you to walk away from parts of your career that may have been a bit difficult and complicated for you and just letting go of it and that's what they're helping you to do and they're probably helping you by showing the opportunities in the future let's just see and this is on that long-term plan saying what do you want what do you want what do you want okay let's just have a look what's going on on the uh, overall outcome It's like the field has been ploughed and it's ready to be planted. It, the overall outcome is, I think it comes back to is what are we gonna do with this? And it comes back to that side. I think there's gonna be a lot more security within your relationship side. And it's almost as if you don't have to worry about it, but it is a new cycle that's happening. So I would embrace yourself on this side and be patient on your financial side and sort of give you time to work out what you're gonna do with all of this. Hmm, bit of a headache, bit of a conundrum. There seems to be decisions that need to be put into place. Hmm. 
decisions where you've got to it's it's not decisions it's what is the most evident path that you should be taking that's what it seems like and i think that's leading into next week i think next week um because this is a reading from the 8th through to the 16th 15th or 14th um and i think it's after that date from the 15th most people sort of has got this 15 to 20 21 period around the 20th there seems to be something going on we will be doing another reading about that uh and like an energy update for all signs this week um so you'll see that on our channel but i think here is a case of walking away from those headaches and those difficulties that you may have encountered in your life and walking away with people from people who are you know have a vested interest in you being in conflict uh, that's what it seems like. Um, and it is m those decisions that need to be made the following week, basically, um, in the week after. So it'd be interesting to see how that pans out. You may want to go over to your monthly reading to see how that connects into all of that. Um, the Astro Flower in the description below, there's loads of links to explore the Astro Flower. Um, and uh, which you'll find in the description below. If you want to support this channel, it'd be beautiful if you did. Uh, it's, it's free. Uh, it's very simple to do. You just need to subscribe and, which is really important, click that bell. Okay? Um, you can also help us by supporting, by sort of sharing uh, this video on all your social platforms and uh, liking or even commenting. Uh, in the meantime, Aquarius, don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy.